All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one tonight. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He uh -huh. only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your headgear? I sleep in my headgear. All the time. All the time. All right. Big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Prelims, no more. Here he is making his way to the octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger. His popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of New York, New York, downtown. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Black Mamba. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's on top. That's it. Perfect. Do you believe it? Oh. Woo. What a fight! Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.